Hi guys, my name is Lucia and welcome to another Shop My Stash video. This will be for the month of May. If you missed last month's Shop My Stash video where I introduced how this will work, I will link that down below. We're going to get right on into it because I was testing out so many products for you guys and I definitely want to give thorough reviews, but I'm also going to try to go as quickly as I can because I need to pick out what I'm doing for next month. I will say before I get in, next month is a crazy month. I'm filming this on on May 2nd, I leave freshman year of college and I go back home a week from today. I cannot believe my freshman year of college is coming to an end, but this is the last video you will see in the storm room, so say goodbye to the storm room, which is really sad. Yeah, so it is a crazy month with moving. I will be at the beach a little bit, and then at the end of May, I'm going to Israel for maybe two and a half weeks. So it is a crazy month. This month is going to be a lot shorter. I'm probably not going to get to test out as many products as thoroughly as I would like to, but we're going to do our best. All right, so I was trying out a ton of palettes for you guys. I will bring this up here. I added this drawer because this thing got really annoying, but when I go home, I'm going to change my setup and I will show you guys either in next month or if there is no next month shop my stash in the month after that. First, I want to talk about the Bad Habit Supernova palette. This is what the palette looks like, and if you are surprised that I have pan on four of the shades, so am I. I used this for one week and I used this shade for two weeks. I hit pan on this after three days, this after four days, and this after six days. I have seen so many people talk about how they use this all the time and it looks untouched. I could not believe how powdery these matte shades are. Now, the quality of the shimmer shades are extremely good. I think these shimmer shades are some of the better shimmer shades from Bad Habit. I really, really like them. You will go through these shadows within weeks. That's actually not what bothered me about this. What bothered me about this was when I tried to put these mattes on the lower lash line, they did not show up. I don't know if it's because I didn't have an eye primer, but you know, I have concealer under my eyes and some people use concealer as primer. So this was crazy. I don't think I could say I recommend it because I couldn't use them for my lower lash line, but I really did like the shimmer, so I am torn. You would definitely go through this really quickly, which for some people isn't an issue. I assumed the Solstice palette would be similar to the Supernova palette since they have the same look, but it was not the case. This was one of the two palettes I used that I would recommend. I have been using this for a week, and you can barely see that I have used it. Now, this is not to say it isn't powdery, but it reminds me maybe more of the Modern Renaissance palette or even a little less powdery than that. I'll just give you guys a comparison. If you look at these shadows, I mean, look at the pan on this and then look at this. I didn't use different brushes. I didn't use a different technique. Like, I didn't go super heavy-handed. I wasn't digging into these shadows. I do my eyeshadow the same no matter what palette. My issue with this is just that this is not what I want personally. This is way too neutral for me. But if you are into neutrals, you will really like this. The shimmers are not as good as the Supernova palette. They're definitely a little bit thinner, but you don't really notice on the eyes. Now, there is a lot of fallout with all of these shadows, but that's to be expected. I do my eyeshadow first and then I wipe it away. I think the mattes are really good. This shade Winter is amazing. I've been using this in my inner corner for a couple weeks and I really really like it I also forgot to mention in the beginning of the video I've been getting a lot of questions about if I'm going to declutter stuff I don't like and the answer is absolutely just not right now since I am moving home and then I'm going to a different country I'm just gonna handle that a little bit later in the summer But when I do that declutter I don't think I will hang on to this because it's just too neutral for me But I do think that this is good. This has my stamp of approval The next palette I want to talk about is the beta palette from Trade Mecca. You guys might have seen me talk about this on my Instagram. I have been reviewing all of these on my Instagram. My Instagram is at Lucia Rose 2. On my stories is where I do the more impersonal daily reviews. I was really worried when I first used this because I thought these matte shades had gone bad. I did not know that these were cream shadows. So I spent the first day being really confused. Once I figured out they were cream, it made more sense, but it didn't make me like the palette better. These have no pigmentation and they made my eyeshadow crease. People said to use a sponge, people said to use your fingers. I tried that. You just cannot get pigment onto your eyes. And then whatever you do put into your crease, it just creases, which is a total shame because these metallic shades are amazing. I wore this in my makeup addiction video and people were loving the 
collar that was on my lid. So I think that eventually when I do get rid of this, I will pop out the shimmer shades and I will either keep those or give those away. I would not recommend this. It is not worth it. You can find other good shimmers. These mattes are just terrible. I think that they don't do a good job of advertising that they are cream, so I think you might not even know that if you order this. Next, we have the Bad Habit Aura palette. Now, this one... I thought the quality was good. It was a little mixed. The shade Ecstasy was the worst fallout I have ever, ever experienced from an eyeshadow. Within hours, there was green all over my face. So that sucked, but I didn't really experience that with the other shadows. I think that the shimmers are good. The mattes are good. My problem with this is that this color scheme is so confusing, and I know they were trying to dupe the Prism palette, so I'm more talking to Anastasia here. I just don't get it. There are some purples, there's some darker, you know, green green and black, and then there's a bunch of orange tones, and it's just not a cohesive story. If there was something on the cover that showed me how this fell into a story, then that would make sense. I just don't love this, and I don't think I would reach for it because of the color story. The quality was a little hit and miss. My favorite palette that I tried was the Bad Habit Athena palette. This was way less powdery than the Supernova palette. Now, you will see, I still hit pan, so I would compare this to the powderiness of the Modern Renaissance palette, where you're gonna hit pan fast, but it's not after four days. It's not this insanity. I do think after maybe a week or two, if you use a heavy hand, yeah, you will hit pan, but does that bother me? No. If Anastasia can get away with that with the Modern Renaissance, then I think that is fine. I think some of these shimmers are absolutely amazing. The duochromes did not really impress me. They don't really look that great on my eyes. This shade Fierce isn't that great, but for the most part, across the board, these shades are really nice. I tried to use this glitter once. I made the mistake of putting it on my inner corners. I have no idea why I did that. I was not thinking, but it made them really dark. The glitter was good quality. I like this palette. I think that, you know, you don't need any of these things, but this is definitely something that I would recommend more than the other palettes. I was using the Unicorn Glow Highlight collection and this just isn't the palette for me. I'm really not into super glowy highlighters, especially green and purple. I actually didn't use the green, the blue, or the purple. I just used these three, and even these three, I had to force myself to use it. I think the quality is good. I think that they are very high shine highlighters. They do accent your texture. I'm not really into that anymore, but when I put them on, I don't think you could necessarily tell the difference between this and a more expensive highlighter because they both are just just really glowy so if that's something you're into then I would say the quality is fine there's nothing wrong with it it's just not what I would want in my everyday life all right now from these coastal sense things I was just trying out the blushes I think the blushes are okay they're not my favorite these are not flattering on my skin tone I'm gonna try them again in summer for now they just weren't that flattering this was okay it seemed to be a little too pale when I wore it a lot of you guys said my blush looked really orange. I didn't really mind it, but it also wasn't my favorite. The formula is very, very powdery, so yeah, I don't know. Like, I think they're fine. I don't think they're amazing, but I don't think they're terrible. And here, I was also testing out some stuff. I was using the J-Cap Beauty U Glow Girl Highlighter in 104 Crystal Sand. This is amazing. This is one of my favorite things I was using all month, which is weird because this actually is a pretty intense highlighter, which I thought I was over, but there's just something about this. It's not as intense as the Anastasia Glow Kits, but it's not super subtle. This tone, for whatever reason, is so nice on my skin tone because I don't love super gold highlights. This is more of a pearly highlight. I would absolutely recommend this. I would buy this with my own money if this was not sent to me. This is an amazing product. It's probably my favorite highlighter in my collection. I was also testing out the Guise F Face FX Contour Palette, and I really, really like this. Now, do you need to go out and buy this? Absolutely not. We all probably have contour palettes in our collection at this point. I thought this was really nice. This shade is super nice under your eyes. These are very, very powdery, but I don't mind that. I find that they blend really, really nice. This is a really nice contour and a bronzer. I was afraid this would be too orange, but you just have to have a light hand. The highlighter is okay. This is the only thing that I'm like, uh, I could do without it because it's a gold highlighter, as I said. I don't think those are the most flattering on my skin tone, but I've used it and I don't hate it. It's just kind of like a whatever. I really like this as a whole, and if I were to be traveling or something, I would just bring this because I would still use the highlight. All right, I was using 
this. This is the Kajumi Jelly Lipstick in Barbie Doll Powder. This is one of those flower lipsticks. My boyfriend nicked the top of it, but that is what it looks like. I hope you can see that. This is nice. This looks like a pink on your lips, and I enjoyed this. I didn't wear it that much, but when I did, I liked it. It's not anything special. It's just one of those color change color changing lipsticks that turns pink, but I did enjoy it for its purpose. I was also trying out a bunch of brushes. I was trying out brushes from the Hush website and the Coastal Sense brushes. I really like all of the eye brushes that I was testing out. The Coastal Sense brushes, the face brushes for the most part, weren't my favorite, and same with the other set that I was trying out. There were a couple standouts, like I like this a lot as a powder brush, and this from the Coastal Sense palette I really, really like as a blush brush. The eye brushes I really liked, the face brushes were just fine. And then you can see that I mentioned I would do this, I pulled in some blushes and bronzers, or all the blush bronzers and highlighters that I own from my collection to use because I wanted some variety. So that was everything I was reviewing, I was also just using some lipsticks here, but now we're gonna go and we're gonna pick new things to use for the month. Also keeping in mind that I am moving and I am going to Israel and also I have two parcels that haven't come to me yet so this is my basket of things I still need to try things that were sent to me I have another package in the mail and then I have something I ordered last month I reviewed the Coastal Sense Jungle Roar palette and I mentioned I wanted to try the other palettes and that I wanted to buy them they beat me to it they sent me the Jolie Calibri palette they sent the Safari Dreams palette. Sorry, the ring light is being weird. And they sent the Charlie Girl palette. I think for this month, I'm only gonna try the Jolie Klebe palette. I have used this one time. I don't believe in first impressions. I wasn't blown away by the first impression, but I am gonna give this a thorough review. Then I have a bunch of stuff from Coastal Scents that I ordered. So I ordered a ton of green and blue hot pots because they had a sale. I ordered 14, also this one blue one that they have sent to me. So I'm definitely gonna try that out. I want to try this Moonstruck Addiction palette. They sent this to me a while ago. It honestly doesn't seem like anything special. This is from the brand Unique. The price tag is crazy. It's $30 to $50 depending on where you find it. And I just want to see if this is at all worth that price. So I am going to test this out. Like I said, I'm going to leave some room. I have a palette coming from a brand. They're sending me three eyeshadow palettes. So I want to try one of those out this month. And I want to try those Coastal Scents palettes. But let's pull the Bad Habit Aphrodite palette. Since I liked the Athena palette so much, I'm really hoping that this one will be just as good quality. This is what it looks like. Right now I have a bunch of pinks and neutrals, but once I get those green shadows, I'll have more. I think that's all the eyeshadow I'm going to pull for now. I'm going to pull this highlighter palette. This is the rosy highlighter collection from Bad Habit. This is supposed to dupe the Anastasia and Nicole Guerrero palette, which I actually own and I really enjoy. So I'm really curious to see if this will be as good. It looks very, very pretty. From this Coastal Scents palette, I haven't tested out these bronzers or this highlighter yet, so I am gonna test that out. Shop Miss A sent me a package with some stuff. They sent me this uh, beauty sponge, which I want to try out. Some of the stuff I'm going to donate, like they sent me a brush cleaning egg. I actually already own a brush cleaning egg, which I really, really like. So I will be donating that. Let's see. They sent me every shade of their liquid lipsticks, as well as two lip glosses and a brow thing. One of the glosses and one of the liquid lipsticks I've already tested out. I'm not a big fan of liquid lipsticks. I thought this was pretty good for what it was. I then checked, and these are $1. They did send me the entire collection, so I was really impressed for $1. I think what I'm going to do is they sent me some pretty unique shades, like there's a gray and a bright purple and a bright pink. I'm going to pick out the ones that I want to keep for YouTube purposes, for purposes of wearing in a look. The rest I will donate. I didn't love the gloss. It's straight up glitter, but I think I'm going to keep it. Since I opened it, I don't feel comfortable giving it to someone, so I think I will just keep it for like fun, uh, editorial stuff. But I'm not going to pull those out now. I'm going to wait till I move and then I'm going to do that. I also have two brush sets. I have this Socolo Dream and Color brush set. I think this is absolutely beautiful.
beautiful. This is what I think is the perfect happy medium between classy and all the unicorn brushes because obviously this has the same theme as those or like the mermaid brushes, but there's not literal mermaid tail sticking out. I think these are just really, really beautiful and I can't wait to use those. And also Shot Miss A sent me a makeup brush set. I am not gonna open either of these again until I move because there's just gonna be too much to pack up and I want them to stay in that compact thing. I think that is everything. The blushes, I'm gonna use my Rockator and my Tarte Exposed, and then in the summer I will be using those other blushes. For my face products, I am gonna use that bronzer. I only own a couple highlighters, so I'm just gonna keep using them with this highlighter that I'm pulling. I'm gonna use the bronzers in my collection as much as I can because as soon as I get tan, they won't work for me and I'm gonna get hella tan in Israel. I only own a couple lipsticks, so I'm not gonna pull any. I'm just gonna use whichever ones I want to. And then the only other new product that I was using was the Becca First Light Priming Filter, which I have been raving about all month. I love this. It is so good with my Fenty Beauty foundation. I think in the summer, I won't want that. I think it'll be too dewy. So I'm gonna go back to the Fenty Beauty Primer. I am really, really, Really looking forward to using this stuff. It was a lot to review this. The palettes that I reviewed for you, you know, I did a lot of using and keeping track and I'm excited to have some new stuff to use. So that is everything. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!